Uh, I'm not going to miss that. Please, uh, let me, I'm going to get to everyone, but there are some questions probably she forgot because uh, there were so many people that, you know, uh, asked questions. That young lady there had asked you a question about Nigerian officials going abroad for help for medical reasons. When, yes. She made the suggestion. No, 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 I didn't make a suggestion. That was my question. What did you ask my daughter? I asked why do Nigerian officials fly abroad for health care when they should be improving health care at home and staying there for health care? I mean, it says a lot for Nigerian officials to be flying out the country. So what will be done about that? No, it's not that I like in that. I'm also a paramedic and a chemist, so I understand what you mean. But asking me the question, I've never been abroad for medical check, one. Two, I thought we were talking about how we're going to put in a law to say they shouldn't. That was the yeah. big yeah. That was also the part of the nature. Yes. yes. So I now felt that, yes, I mean, it's worth doing. Mm -hmm. well, first of all, we should improve on our hospitals. We have a national hospital that uh, we can further develop. We're also inviting individuals to come and build centers of excellence. I know that in a country like South Africa and other countries, individuals, nationals that have been abroad will relocate to their countries and build the best, build the best hospitals, bring their friends from outside to come and work and help their people. So in addition to government improving our health system, all of us can also contribute. It can even be in your village, you know, if, no. Kidnappers and security. But that's um, not secure. Okay. Uh, so thank you. Now can help us. So we can, we can also propose the deal. You know what I mean? That's what I want to say. The country is open to suggestions and what can be to make it better. Nobody is too small or nobody is outside those that can help us with that. So if you prepare something, we're not talking about you know budget for public officials from seeking help to the outside. The National Assembly is there, they're working the ground. Okay, um, honorable minister, I'm going to introduce a few people, but there is somebody who sent me a question and said most of the things that uh, you want to copy America, that Obama buys his own food to eat. The only time America buys food for them is when they have a state function. Is that the same thing in Nigeria? Why do we have to vote one billion naira for food for Jonathan? For Jonathan, can you explain that to Nigeria? Or can you tell us why he's consuming so much food? <laughs> <laughs> one billion. The only sent me the question is here in my hand. It's not from me. I think it's important for us to say what the true situation is. In the budget, I, I um, have been privileged to be to serve on the House Committee on Appropriation for seven years. Now, what, but what, what people are talking about actually is misinforming the public. When the issue of like banquets, uh, official functions, they are lumped in a subhead called State House Feeding. So when you have banquets in the, in the State House, when you have presidents visiting, when you have functions, it is from that money that the principal secretary to the, uh, to the president approves money. And then it was Steve Orasanya who was in charge of approving monies from that box. So to say that the president was feeding himself with one billion <laughs> is a lie. <laughs> okay. The letter fly. That's number one. Number two, you talked about the government. I challenge you. Go and publish me how much money that is used for banquets that the President of the United States uses. Okay, thank you very much. So, the truth I want to say is that I think that misinformed, it was misinformation. Okay. That's not the money that President uses to feed. Okay. 
Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. We, I have to uh, introduce or recognize uh, there is a lady here who is very dear to us. She is always in our midst when we do something in, the, uh, in Nigeria. Uh,